Hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to show you the five least expensive places to buy real estate in Spain. Now a couple of days ago I actually posted a video on the five least expensive places to buy property in Portugal and today I'm going to do Spain. Now once again this is coming from the Idealista um, website which is a property website with quite good articles. It covers Spain, Portugal, Italy and I think Cyprus as well and I think for me it's actually I'm not promoting it but it's a, a very useful property um, website. Now in fifth place what you have is a place called Herentia and Herentia is actually um, only 413 euros per square meter and is the, in the province of Ciudad Real with a population of 8,400, 100, approximately 150 kilometers from Madrid. And we're going to show you here a house, 125 square meters for only 42,000 euros. Um, and it's quite a decent um, house as well. It's got a garage and I don't think really you need to do, as I'm skimming through the pictures, you don't need to do too much work to it. So you've got a kitchen there. Um, storage, bathroom, bathroom, living room, vestibule, living room, bedroom, uh, there's the corridor, terrace, kitchen, again photo, that's the bedroom, and although I'm not saying this is the best house, you have to admit for 125 square meters of house to only pay 42,000 euros with a garage and not too much work needed. That is very, very good value for money. Now, I want to just quickly talk about the fourth least expensive place to buy property in, and that's a place called Almaden, which I think some of you may actually know because it used to have mines there. It was famous for its mines, um, which closed, I think, around 20 uh, years ago or so. And it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so people come and, and see the, um, um, the mines. Here, property is around um, 407 euros per square meter on average. It's actually in the province of Ciudad Real, 300 kilometers south of Madrid. It actually was a Roman and then Moorish settlement, and the population is 5,500 people. So, let's have a look at this detached house. So it's 200 square meters for only 50,000 euros. So I think this is pretty good value for money. And it's it's actually not too bad inside either. It may need a bit of lick of paint, one or two things you want to adjust, but the bedroom here is not too bad. The living room is actually quite nice. Um, I think that's a storage area. Bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, uh, bathroom bathroom again. Now, as I say, there's a terrace. Um, as I flick through the pictures, I'm not saying this house is in an absolutely fantastic condition, but it's not going to need a lot of work, uh, apart from, I think, these rooms coming up, uh, for you to get it into a very, very livable place. You may need to spend perhaps 15,000 euros to do some of these rooms up, maybe a lick of paint, put a few things in, etc. But if you look at that 200 square meters, 50,000 euros, that is amazingly cheap. Um, I just want to quickly see how many bedrooms it's on. It's, it's actually got two bathrooms, so uh, a terrace. So that is really, really good value for money. Now, the third, coming in at the third least expensive place to buy in Spain, is a place called Cebulla. Now, Cebulla is um, only 401 euros per square meters. It's actually in the Toledo province. It's actually 54 kilometers from the city of Toledo and has a population of 3,200. Now, I wanted to show you something at the more expensive area, expensive end of the property market here. It's a 400 square meter house, so it's a huge house. Um, for only 140,000 euros with a garage and it is in pretty good condition so I let me just check how many bedrooms I think it's got uh, six rooms so I think it may have about four bedrooms um, and a parking uh, place or garage I should say so let's have a quick look inside there's the facade very nice uh, that's a it says patio there but that's actually I would say it's a courtyard um, it's really really huge 
the porch, porch, uh, there's your parking area, so it's a full, fully fledged garage space, um, kitchen, very nice, again, huge kitchen. Now the living room here is absolutely enormous and that picture there gives you the scale of how big the living room is, or maybe that one's even better. Um, bathroom there. And there's a whole, there's many, many rooms that you can um, use as bedrooms or study rooms or whichever way you want to use um, the property. Uh, so it's actually, it's pretty well done up. I don't think you have to do too much to this house. I don't think you have to do anything actually. Maybe if you want to paint or whatever, but um, it is quite an amazing house for only 140,000 euros. Huge, huge house. 400 square meters. The 400 square meters is usually, for me, um, that would be four houses because the average house, for example, in a country like in, in most Western European countries is 100 square meters and this is 400 square meters. So it's, this, it's in effect four houses in one. Now, coming in at number two um, is a place called Baruello di Santulan. And here, the um, average property price is 383 euros per square meters. It is actually in the province of Palencia. Um, it's a very small place. It's a population of only 1,200. So it is, let's say, more of a village. And it's uh, equidistant from both Santander and Bilbao airport. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get here. Um, and what I'm going to show you is another house. So yeah, they've classified it as a village. Um, and the house is 59,900 euros, so very, very, very cheap. So it's about 210 square meters. It's got three bathrooms, um, good condition. It's got heating, uh, built in the mid 70s. So not an ancient place. So that looks like the house, kitchen, kitchen again. It's a room there, a room there. Um, I think that's an outside space. A, a, well, living room maybe needs a bit of work there. Corridor, kitchen bathroom in pretty good condition so you wait you probably want to do some work here um bedroom there kitchen kitchen again kitchens in actually quite good condition you probably want to do some work but it's not a renovation job by any stretch of the imagination and again in here it's so 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 cheap now coming in at number one the least expensive place to buy property is a place called El Carpio de Tajo, and this is in the province of Toledo. Um, it's on average 304 euros per square meter. Um, again, it's more, it's more of a village. It's 1,800 people. It's actually got a nice church and they have a festival, ev I think every year, once a year. And it's around 40 kilometers from Toledo and about 99 kilometers from Madrid. I want to show you just a couple of properties here. So, I want to show you a terraced house, 150 square meters for 55,000 euros. Um, and it's in quite, it seems in quite good condition. Um, it's, a th it's three bedrooms. Um, that's the bedroom, bathroom, bathroom, all in good condition, parking space, bathroom, views there, courtyard, needs a bit of work, um, but not, again, it's more, um, it's not a renovation project. It's you've got work to do. You will have to do some work. The living room is in pretty good condition, but it, a lot of it is more cosmetic painting, etc., rather than whole renovation project. Um, bathroom, patio again, facade, and there's quite a few pictures here of the place. I don't know. You may want to change the blue color in there. Bathroom, good condition. Um, they certainly like light blue in this place, but it's generally in very pretty good condition and it's amazingly cheap, 55,000 euros. Now, uh, I, I just want to show you for those who really, really are scraping the barrel and want to pay the absolute minimum. If you buy a flat here, it is very, very, very cheap. So I'm going to show you a flat for only 15,000 euros, 15,000 euros. So let's say if you're a young um, um, digital nomad it does say only 71 square meters of useful space but it has got an um, a lift so elevator um, it's a 
very very decent size um, let's have a look inside so there's a room I think that's the living area that's the terrace so you can it's got a pretty good terrace as well bathroom um, now I'm not saying it's the best place in the world but in Western Europe to get anything for 15,000 euros is absolutely remarkable um, so if you're a young digital nomad who um, just wants to stay in a, a village for a while wants to just buy a property but not spend too much 15,000 euros is really um, amazing it really is amazing value just to give you an idea um, 70 square meters in a place like London may cost you six six hundred thousand euros and here it's, I know it's only it's a village in Spain and you can't you know it's not really that comparable but 15,000 euros compared to 600,000 or even 650,000 euros um, in, in a place like London it's, it's actually when you think about it the the difference is quite remarkable and you know you some people may say who needs to live in a big city like London when you can come here work as a dig digital nomad and pay next to nothing for an apartment anyway that's it for today um, please um, if you do like this video please click the like button it really helps get this video out to other people in particular maybe youngsters who do not have um, a lot of money to invest in a property um, I'm happy I'll be so happy if um, a youngster can purchase something like this and spend little money and work as a digital nomad if you like my channel please do subscribe and I'll see you very soon on the next video thank you and goodbye for today